these two impacts. Keep on again. See you on the other side. All right. He's here. Four left online and active. Killed one. I'm gonna plant now. Cover the hallway. Cover hallway. What's up, guys? Today we're doing an upper to God on how to play as Hibana in Rainbow Six Siege 2024. Going through Hibana's loadout, the, how to use their Kairos pellets, and uh, how to rank up and frag out while playing Hibana. First, let's go to the loadout. So you have the Type 89 and the Supernova. Most more times than not, you're going to be relying on the Type 89 because it is a pretty good uh, assault rifle. It has a little bit of weird. I mean, if you can see the recoil pattern in the bottom right. It has a little bit of a last bullet kick to the right occasionally that can kind of throw you off. But other than that, it's pretty good. But it does only have 20 bullets. But the fire rate is super good and the damage is great. Supernova, I mean, Supernova has decent range, but shotguns aren't super great right now in Siege. So doing that on attack is going to be rough. Then you have Pistol. Well, there's no reason to ever run that. So for the Type 89, first of all, Flash, Vertical, all that stuff. You have the bearing. Comparable to the SG11, but more bullets. Do I really need to say more? Super good uh, secondary. And then like, if, if you want to run the Supernova with the bearing, honestly, it's not a complete troll loadout. Like you can get away using that. It just takes the right person. <laughs> There's the Supernova. Then you have flashbangs and breaching charges. Most of the time you're going to bring flash grenades because you do have breaching already. But like, if you do need to work vertical in any capacity, breaching charges. So it really just depends on what you plan on doing during the round. All right, now to talk about why to play Hibana in the first place, your Kairos launcher. So you can set it to do either two at a time, six at a time, or four at a time. Hatch only requires, when it's reinforced, only requires four pellets. Occasionally you want to do two pellets at a time if they are impact tricking. It's very hard to impact trick a Hibana because look how many extra pellets I have. You 18 pellets all together for shooting them two at a time. I mean, I have quite a few. So here, let's say I want to just make a breach, like long range. Boom. Boom. So that would just be an angle. So if you want to want a um, opening that you want to get through, you do need to stack them together like so. Otherwise, six pellets is just going to do this. If you use different combinations of these six, four, or two, you can make different types of breaches that you may want. And honestly, this Hibana is really imaginative. You can do a lot of things with these Kairos spells. So we are going to do some Hibana gameplay shortly, but I want to talk to you guys about like why I play Hibana so much on Clubhouse really quick. So this hatch, super important to attacking downstairs, right? But any other breacher, is going to have to walk in and go on top of the hatch to get it. Ace, you have to use two aces and you're going to have one left over. And if they impact trick it, trick it at all, you're not going to get the hatch open. With Hibana, I can shoot them from the safety of Freezer. They can throw, if there's a hole here, there's, they can throw Nitro up. But all I have to do is like kind of come in here, shoot the pellets down and walk out. And if they throw a Cade Claw anywhere, so I'm going to explain how to anti-Cade on a hatch. If there's soft destruction anywhere around the hatch, the way to get a K-Claw off is to shoot pellets around the sides. It will destroy anything in the radius, including the K-Claw. So here are the spots where a K-Claw could be. So like that, you will get the K-Claw off. And if it doesn't get it off, then it's probably going to be there. So these will get the K claw off no matter what, but it will not open the hatch. K claw will 100% be off. And then what I do is shoot bomb. more pellets. I would usually do these ones I just showed you guys one at a time. Cause if I, if I do happen to roll the dice and get the K claw off, then I won't have to do the rest. And then you just shoot two at a time. If the impact trick, you just keep shooting them. So you get the hatch open. You just keep shooting them while the impact trick just keep shooting them with the impact trick 
and you'll be good to go. Pretty easy and simple to do, but honestly, only Hibana can really do this. This is why she's basically the go-to op for getting multiple hatches. Like, if there's a if there's a map that you need to get, like, let's say, like four hatches open, and they don't even have a Cade, you can get every hatch open. No other hard breacher in the game can do what Hibana does on hatches. So now we're gonna go through what it looks like in action in a match. So they're trying to impact trick and those K claws on this hatch. I get the K claws off. I shoot four to try to go for the hatch. I'm not sure if they're impact tricking at this point. Impacts come out. Trying to impact, they suck. They do oh, impact. No. They so I swap to two. Okay, we'll use two impacts. Bottom again. Working on that hatch. You wait for them to get fully exploded before you shoot more, because you don't want them to get impacted multiple times. I bring breach charges to work the vertical. Hatch does get open there. So now I have the hatch open. I actually do a lot this round, so this the round is actually really good. So castle bottom main. I shoot the bulletproof. Shoot two pellets to destroy a castle. Another good use of Hibana pellets. The Maverick, your shit's castled off. Guys, I need you guys to play so, hatch. I gotta open that castle too. So the castle's oh, open, castle. but Sledge is going in to open it up. So we're going to play off this oh, castle hold on, door. Hold on, oh, you're doing it too quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I join out before we go in. Sledge it right now. Sledge it right now. They'll get, move for our right. We kill the one prone, and we finish off the other. Get a kill. We don't instantly go for the rev here, just in case someone's close right. I'm waiting for the guy to crawl away. It's better to be safe here than risk both our lives here. He, someone does actually end up swinging out. Yeah, shoot at me. I'm just holding the angle now. Leave everything open, waiting for teammates, my teammates to get into a better position. I realize I'm going to have to make a play here. I have 24 health. I can shoot Hibampos through the Aruna gate, but walking through that's tough. I heard that one was in kitchen, so I rotate up on the hatch. I see his legs stick out. Free little kill there. That was a 2v1. 20 seconds left. I don't see him back arsenal. I hear in church, so I drop hatch. I start to plant the diffuser. Already is running over. We the plant down, pro zone fake. Free fire out. Free fire out. Another round. We hear someone's in kitchen. He runs out. We kill him. We go on top of the roof. More clubhouse nonsense. We drone out kitchen, making sure it's completely cleared, make, droning the vertical above me as well as below me, see if there's anything nearby I have to worry about. He starts to ram the floor. I open up the hatch. Nothing crazy about that. Impact trick comes out. I swap the two pillows because they're impact tricking. Misses the impact. So that should be opening up the hatch now. Try to see if I can see the guy down there. I, I don't. We find him. There's the Solus. We find someone swinging out from box two. After killing two guys that are close to the hatch, I know that this is mostly safe now. So I just drop. Not worried. They reinforced all of blue off. I see a teammate in blue, so I don't have to worry about it. See Iona clone come out, so I try to go in to refrag it. I do see the enemy shoot the Iona clone. I swing out, find my kill. 3v1 now. Holding the angle. And my teammate secures it. Like I said, a lot of these clips are going to be clubhouse because I think that Hibana is king on this map. And everyone loves the downstairs site, so learning how to play Hibana on this side is going to be king. We open up the hatch, we open up the dirt. We run in because we see that's that's another big thing when you're playing off of cameras i have the angles all open we have the floor open i have the hatch open i drone out i see nobody there there's no point in me staying in dirt at this point you go in i know no one's close we go in i hear one's in blue we kill one in the hallway we find the guy blue now it's just 4v4 2a 4v2 and now a 4v1. Another round on Clubhouse. I drone out, open the hatch. We have vertical. I drop after droning. 
I don't see anyone watching. We take down the guy blue, so I know no one's going to be close. I try to go for defuse. I tell them to watch the hallway from the hatch. We get the diffuser off. Now there's no retreat for me, so I swing out a little bit. I hear one near blue. We find the mirror. 3v2 now, I get shot by an enemy. I rotate around and find him in the back. The speed, the three speed. Now we're above again. Guys underneath, we take him out. One's in dirt. He can't I know one's in dirt and it's a 3v2. So I tell my team to go to dirt door and like work the guy because he can never leave. That is an isolated fight. And if he ever tries to leave, then I get a free kill just like that. Dad. Dirt's dead. I don't know, I don't know where Valk is. So here the, the guy, last guy is church double. I drop hatch. I saw him on the way down, but we get the fuser off and the teammate kills him anyways. A lot of times when you're working vertical, the enemy team is going to throw a kitchen sink at you. So you have to react and be adaptive. So I'm getting the K claw off. The impact above to shoot my Hibana pellets out. I throw, I shoot two more on the hatch, even though the vertical is made because I'm going to go peek him now. He shoots my Hibana pellets, but I shoot him instead. Hold on, I gotta open my hatch. One more Hibana pellet, I'm good. So I put my flank cam, tell my teammates to watch that. I empty my mag, destroying the Azami so I can have an angle towards dirt door. I hear flank. Her going down main, so now we have a 2v1 at sight for at least a couple seconds. Teammate goes down. He said he was in blue. I hear the last guy's in kitchen hatch. So now I know I have an isolated fight. I go for the guy. We find him. Now I know the last one's on kitchen hatch. That's all she wrote. Again, be adaptive. On, so on, I drone, on. I see a pulse waiting to throw us with a nitro. Darren, stay here. Darren, I tell my stay teammate right to stay in freezer. So stay right there for a little bit. Stay right there. Because I'm going to run past and drop the hatch on top of the pulse. We drop. Pulse doesn't really know what hit in there. Which now we have sight. 3v4. Be I don't know. Okay. One going one they dropping. One walked out dirt, boom, we take him out. I hear one went kitchen hatch, but teammate does clean up the guy kitchen hatch. I kill the guy hallway. Now it's a 2v1. I get shot from church. I swing all the way around. Teammate's starting to go for a plant, but we find the last. It don't matter, bro. It don't matter. That's all she wrote. A lot of times that's why when I spawn out here, I go on top of the roof just to see anything weird like that. We take him out, free enough. I checked the door again. I because I thought I heard somebody. I did. Mira flanking up. Now it's a one v one. I go drop the hatch. I plant behind box two. Guy gets really close, and based on audio, I hear him close. I mean, you guys can tell on this crosser placement where he's looking that how this is going to end. Pretty free. All right, guys, that's it today on how to play as Ibana. Ibana is the operator to get hatches open, but she's also very good for just having range breaching. Let's say sometimes they might be an ace or someone else is playing ace and you still want to have range breaches. You can go Hibana. Thormite, you have to place it down or if you use a hard breach secondary, you still have to place it down. And sometimes you, in certain situations, it can mess you up. Hibana can counter operators like Mira. You can just pop the mirror open from range. You can open walls from range and not really expose yourself too much. Really easy to use the Kairos pellets. This is why the difficulty is a one. Super simple and easy to use. And guys, one thing about supportive ops like Kibana or like, you know, any other type of support is once you get your walls open, play aggressive. She's a three speed with a good gun. You can do a lot and you have flashbangs, so you can kind of function as an entry. Once you get people off the angles, you don't want them to be on, you can make aggressive plays. A lot of reason why I like bringing flash grenades is because once I get a hatch open or two, then I'm like, okay, I'll throw a flat, I'll drone down the hatch, throw a flash in, drop a hatch, and make a play. Super good operator. Try out. And uh, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe, comment, leave a like down below for more. Peace out.